Hi, this is Mike from Schaefer Chevrolet doing a quick walk around video on this 2010 GMC Sierra. It has a whole lot of touch up spots on the front of the hood here. As you can see, top of the roof above the windshield you can see that it's got some rust spots tires look pretty decent BF Goodrich tires all terrain Part of the emblem missing there. Looks like the previous owner tried to do a in his own garage touch up job. Didn't come out so well in my opinion. do have a dent in the front of the box there it's a dent in the rear fender also on the driver's side as well slight discoloration right here I'm not sure what that's from somebody tried to repaint rockers look pretty decent um, I haven't crawled under there yet I'll get to that Do have some bubbling starting under here, under the door. But uh, as far as the interior goes, the interior is in pretty good shape. I don't smell any uh, pet odors or cigarette smells. Passenger drawer seems a little bit worse. Four wheel drive works, runs good. Um, there is a low tire pressure light on. Um, it says the right rear tire is low. Yeah, upon further inspection, the rockers are pretty rusty underneath. You have some bunch of little bubble spots here on the passenger rear door. If you look at the wheel well closely, there is some some bubbling starting to come up. Drives good though, I just went and put gas in it. Headlights are a little foggy. I don't know if you can tell.
you're a stickler for rust, like you said, I would say this truck is probably not for you. But keep in mind, it is a 10 year old truck now. I know it's only got 83,000, but like I said, it is 10 years of age. Frame looks pretty solid. But yeah, you do have. There's a little bit of rust on the truck, though. Start it up for you. And there's that tire light on. Like I said, I put air in all four tires to the manufacturing specs and that light is still on. So I'm not sure if you got a TPS sensor out on that tire. If it's out, it usually will read zero. Engine bay looks real clean. Looks like you got a fairly newer battery back there. I don't hear any ticks or knocks or anything like that. Like I said, it runs really good. But it does have some, uh, some body work that would probably need to be done on it. If there's anything else you want me to pinpoint on or get some more pictures or videos, just let me know. Again, Mike from Schaefer Chevrolet. Thanks for watching.